So I wanted to do a quick video to explain how to reset your Yeti Lithium if things go wrong. So last night I was using my Yeti and here's a dramatic reenactment. I plugged in this lantern to charge it and as soon as I did that, the screen blanked out. And from that point onward, I could turn on the AC, I could turn on the USB, but the screen would still be dead and the 12 volt didn't work at all. So I didn't know what to do. And after messing around a bunch, I came up with this weird discovery. If you press all three buttons on the front of your Yeti at the same time for a few seconds, you'll notice that the screen completely blanks out. There's the battery and now it's blank. And my hunch is at this point, it's starting to do a software reset. So it's sort of like turning your computer on and off by holding down the power button. So, and while it's in this mode, you can't press any of the power buttons. So if they're on, they're gonna stay on. If they're off, they'll stay off. And it takes a little while. It probably takes 40 seconds or so, maybe even longer. So while it's sitting there, you might hear the fans cycling on and off and on and off. And you just have to be patient. Give it a minute. Now, I've found that this thing will reboot all by itself if you just leave it there for a bit. But I've also found that sometimes one way to speed it up is to grab a power cable and plug that into the unit. And if you do that, it usually comes right back to life. So we'll plug that in and wait for it. Wait for it and hear the fans. We're almost back. So there must be some sort of little computer in here that's rebooting in it. It takes a little while for it to get itself together again. See the buttons still don't work. Still waiting. And we're back in business. So I was so happy when I figured this out because I was thinking about returning my unit to get a new one and turns out it just glitched out and needed a good restart. So since there's not really a power button on it, you'll find this is the best way to get it back in working order. Turns out I'm really a bad judge of time. And so that took basically two full minutes. I think it would be faster if we had plugged it in a bit earlier though. And I checked the manual and there's no mention of this three button press. Also Googled around quite a bit and I saw no mention of any way to reset or restore your Yeti. So uh, I hope you find this video useful. It was, I wish it was floating around there when I was looking for a solution last night. Thanks for watching and let me know in the comments if you found any little hidden Easter eggs.